Hello everybody, in this Rhino plus Grasshopper video demo, I would like to show how we can create this uh, vase with wave-like patterns on it. Okay, what's interesting about this wave-like pattern is that it has a subtle uh, twist to the form and also its pattern actually fades off on one side of the vase. Okay. So creating a subtle impression of the pattern disappearing on one side. Okay, so uh, let's start. Okay, in order for us to be able to do this uh, form, we will need to use the wave line shaper that I have created and demonstrated in a previous video. Okay, so if you want to know in depth about that particular definition, you can click on the icon over here to go to the previous video. Okay, now let's come back over to this uh, video. Okay, so now um, what I'm going to do is uh, let's create the basic shape of the vase okay, using a revolve. Okay, so I'm going to use the control point curve to just uh, do a basic tracing. Okay, I'm not going to create something that is like 100% accurate to the form. Okay, uh, just doing something that uh, will be demonstrating the process. Okay, I think I don't need this anymore. Okay, so um, this will be the basic uh, profile that I want to revolve. Okay, so you can click. We don't need this anymore. Okay, we can click on the revolve icon to do a revolution. So select curve to revolve. Start and end. Okay. And let's do a simple revolve. Okay, so it's done. Okay, so we, we, we got this as the basic shape. And now um, let's fire up Grasshopper and open up the Waveline Shaper. Okay, the Waveline Shaper, by, by the way, you can uh, click on the video below. There is a link that you can use to download the waveline shaper definition okay so uh, let's uh, click on this and yeah so you can see over here this is the waveline shaper let me hide this first okay and we want to be able to uh, craft the, the basic form okay so i think what i want to do is to make some adjustments okay so i don't want it to be so wavy okay so i think something like that will do and yeah not so not so wavy something like that okay okay and then uh, maybe i will also like to adjust this Maybe I want the waviness to concentrate more on here, so I go to do some adjustments so that you can see the waviness is only concentrating on uh, over here. Okay, yeah, so okay, so, so this is something that I want. Okay, and then uh, when I'm done with this, uh, okay, maybe I'll just turn on the preview. Okay, and I can start to uh, bake it. So, so I'm going to bake this. I remember to bake the this uh, component, okay, the loft component, okay, click OK, and then we got our uh, the pattern, okay. So with that, I think I don't need this anymore. I'm going to close this, no, okay.
on height. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is to get this pattern onto this surface here. Let me move this over to one side. Okay, to do that, we can use the flow along surface command. Okay, but before we can uh, use the flow along surface, we need to create a base uh, target surface. Okay, to do that, um, we need to use something like a rectangular plane command. Okay, so I'm going to use this the rectangular plane and make sure that the object snap uh, the end is turned on so that I can click on one end and snap to the other end. So over here what we have is actually just to show you okay two two planes okay one is a flat rectangular plane and the other one is the actual uh, surface that we want to map onto this uh, target surface okay so yep let me just uh, control set okay okay so now we can proceed to do our uh, uh, flow along surface okay flow along surface can be found here okay under the transform toolbar okay so it's actually this one here so you can click on this so I ask you select object to flow along surface so the object is um, this surface that, that we have created using the grasshoppers uh, operation enter and then the base surface is actually the rectangular plane and we need to do it in such a way that um, the corner that we select will correspond to the eventual corner on the on the target object okay so I want this corner and then the target object is uh, here okay the corner for target object oh it's not giving us the correct uh, orientation okay let me do a control set okay let me just uh, repeat this again okay so select object to flow okay it's this okay then enter then uh, base surface okay base surface at one corner okay the base surface has to be the rectangular plane okay so rectangular plane and then the target surface is here you got to find where where the corner is okay the corner is here okay so let's click here uh, yeah we're getting it right now can you see yep so uh, let's hide the the base surface you don't need them anymore okay so what we got here is these are uh, basic uh, pattern over here okay and then um, let me hide this as well okay and hide this as well okay now what I'm going to do is to create um, the other elements okay so I'm going to create the base with something like that and for this I will just use a simple surface on planner curve command to create a planner surface and then followed by a blend surface to create this this region Then surface. Okay, so first edge, second edge. Okay, and just set both to curvature. Okay, click OK. Okay, now uh, let's join this stuff together. Okay, I want to see whether is there any like gaps around. So go to analyze h2 show h okay unfortunately there is a gap over here can you see the naked edge is uh, showing us that uh, this part is uh, not fully uh, closed up so what I can do is uh, let's uh, do some manual matching to to close up the gap okay so let me just explode this again to do that we can 
use this uh, split surface by also curve. That means you are doing a right mouse click instead of a left mouse click. So hover over here, right mouse click. Okay, so select object to split is this. Okay, and then make sure that your uh, orientation is correct. So if you are like having like this kind of orientation is wrong. So you got to click the toggle to toggle to this orientation and you have to set the string to yes so that we can do a, a match. Okay, so I think we will do something like that. Okay, and then now we have this this piece of uh, surface that we need to do a uh, matching. Okay, so now what I do is I need to match this to, to this. Okay, so you can come over here and do the match surface, match this. To this okay so and we set it to tangent will do okay tangent will do okay and now let's uh, uh, merge this stuff back so we can use the merge surface merge this to this okay and now um, let's join the stuff again join this to this to this okay and analyze H2 show H great now there are no naked H okay that's great okay okay the next thing I want to do is to twist this stuff twist the pattern over here okay we have a uh, nice wave patterns but they are like vertical we want them to have a twist okay to do that we can use as the name implies We can use the twist okay twist command okay so a select object to twist is this enter and then you ask for the start of the twist axis so the start will be the center line okay let me just uh, turn to go search you can see so this is the center line and we want to bring it up here to the other uh, end of the twist and then we go to the top view to do our twist okay so you ask for the angle of reference first reference point so this will be the first reference point so I want to do something like a 45 degree twist okay and wait for yep yep now we got the twist can you see there's a subtle twist to the form yeah and at the same time this part is uh, still faded away okay so this is what, what, what we want okay and then Let's cover up this part here. Okay, we can do that easily by using the surface for planner curves. Okay, cover this and let's join this to this. Okay, so what we got is a, a solid now, which we can apply um, shell to create an even wall thickness. Okay, so I'm going to use the shell command which is uh, part in the solid tools toolbar so click on the shell icon select face to shell so this is the face okay and the thickness okay I want the thickness to be uh, 1.5 enter okay then enter and wait for Rhino to do its shelling it might take a while because the uh, geometry is uh, quite complex okay okay great it's done okay you can see that yeah we've done our shelling and seems to be fine so the last thing we need to do is just to get this part nice and round nicely rounded okay to do that I think I'll just uh, remove this flat surface which you can do so by using extract surface which can be uh, executed by right mouse clicking on this explode icon and select this enter and then we delete it away and now let's just do a simple uh, blend surface over here we can use the blend surface let's set the chain edge to auto chain equal yes okay so this and then got this and let's set it to curvature on both sides click okay Okay, I think we are we're done already. So let's uh, join them together. Join all the 
pieces together okay well done With that, I come to the end of this demo. Hope that has been useful to you. See you around. Bye.